What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and we are here sort of live from E3 2012. The Microsoft press conference just ended and I want to give you my full recap and review. I've been uploading the trailers and the gameplay demos to my channel so you can check all those out. I'll have all the links of all the games I talk about in the description below and some annotations as well. Definitely get a look so you can know and, and sort of see what I'm talking about. You might want to watch those first and then watch this recap. You might want to watch this recap first and then pick out the ones you like most. But let's start with some of the boring stuff which is that they <laughs> announced that Internet Explorer is coming to Xbox. Woo! So... So thrilled. I feel like that kind of stuff should be, you know, press release material for after the conference. I guess they have to show it, but it just never gets anyone excited. People always make jokes. It, it always just seems kind of silly. Um, there is the Microsoft Smart Glass, which looks pretty cool. Um, this is, again, a, a sort of a secondary application, not a direct game, um, where you can control your Xbox with current phones, tablets. Um, they talked about maybe drawing a play in Madden, some connection with games, mainly, though, as a, a remote or, or a way to transfer video um, through your system to your iPad or your iPhone or your Android or whatever that you have going on to be determined on how that actually all plays out. They showed FIFA, they showed Madden, and how there's voice options for those games. Will anyone ever really use them? I don't know. Me personally, no. Um, then we got into some of the, the bigger stuff. We had the Gears of War Judgment trailer. Now, this was a very quick trailer for the brand new Gears of War game, um, which is... I don't know. It's a prequel. It features uh, Baird and Cole, and um, the trailer showed some, some Locusts and some Gears. It's probably my biggest disappointment of the show, just because... They, one, they didn't show anything, and two, there was no promise of like, oh my god, something different, or like, hey, we're going to show you squad, class-based gameplay, or look at this. It was just a very quick teaser. Maybe they don't really have much ready, but again, it just basically like, hey, we have more gears. And I felt like that was a very underwhelming announcement. Th this whole conference, what I felt embodied, it was like, hey, remember remember our team? Here they are again for their next adventure. Um, and, and no... None of the big three yet have, have really been willing to say, hey, we're moving on. Um, they're all kind of, again, rehashing, and a lot of people thought maybe this was the year that we would get a new breed or a new stable of games and characters, but no, we're, we're still, for another year, caught up with the same stuff. Um, that showed in Splinter Cell Blacklist, but that looked really cool. It's an, an upgraded version, uh, or a, basically a, a new take on um, the last Splinter Cell for 360, um, and it looks like they made some improvements to make the game more fluid, um, to maybe... What, what my problem with the last one was that, you know, you could do those executes, the market executes, and it kind of felt... Um, very rote, like you were just sort of setting up these very, you could have been playing with triangles and squares and just been like, oh, attack the squares, boom, go. Like there wasn't a whole lot going on um, in that sense. But I did like the, the interface, I did like the, the text on the world, it was one of the first ones um, to really do that well. Um, and I like Splinter Cell, I like the, the, that kind of stealth gameplay. Um, this one looked to be a little bit more action heavy, uh, but they also showed some traversal, which was kind of cool. That was a new take on Splinter Cell, and it seems like all these games are trying to kind of almost go the uncharted route in the sense of uh, traversal, action, a, a healthy mix, um, and that was what Tomb Raider was when they, they showed the actual gameplay of that. That game, probably my my favorite game of the, of the conference, um, was last year and is again this year. I think it looks fantastic. It looks like a, to me, it looks like a more amped up version of Uncharted. I know Uncharted is amped up, but this has a little bit more of a, as opposed to the mystery and treasure hunting element, looks to have looks to have more of an action adventure element um the story how it all plays out i don't know how it'll stack up against uncharted it looks fantastic it's a gorgeous game the bow and arrow shooting the cover to get the guys out um the enemies out was very cool the, the sliding down on the water laura looks very good it's it, it just looks like a phenomenal game i'm really sad that that one got delayed but it's, it's currently my most anticipated game what else was really cool there and, and, and kind of following similar vein um was halo 4 and, and obviously halo 4 is a huge title and now made by 343 instead of Bungie. So how is it going to look? They started off with a kind of a, a, a very cinematic -y trailer and then moved into gameplay. Um, it is very Forerunner based as people predicted and they tried to cover up for a while, but no, it's Forerunner based. And the monsters or the enemies looked like a mix between dinosaurs, aliens, lost planet, orange glowy guys, Lego Bionicle, kind of a very strange mix of these like robotic jungle dweller dinos, um, which I thought were very cool. I li really like those guys. I like when Master Chief picks up the, the Forerunner weapon and it kind of assembles itself and um, looks like they made some interface tweaks. Um, the best part, though, of the trailer for me was the last chunk. Uh, or the gameplay, which is the last chunk, which is the, the promise that Cortana is like freaking out, and it seems like the story is going to be a little bit more intense, a little bit crazier, which could be cool, because I feel like the Halo stories are cool and all, um, but kind of you, you know what to expect, and maybe infusing the jungle planet, the new characters, the new enemies will be a, a boost to that series, um, and it needs multiplayer, probably, you know, again, a huge draw, and so what does that look like? Don't really know the specifics on that yet, probably see a lot more this week. Um, I will say it did look like more Halo, and again, Thematically, for the whole conference, it was more Gears, more Halo, more Splinter Cell. 
Um, more Forza. You had Forza Horizon, which didn't really show much, but the Forza Horizon trailer. Um, more Fable, Fable Journey. Again, it's a Kinect trailer. They show a guy, Kamehameha, Dragon Ball Z style. Um, I don't know. I, I have a hard time getting excited for anything Kinect just because they all have so far ended up kind of blah, way below my expectations. Um, again, more Dance Central 3. They bring out Usher. I guess that's cool if you're there, but... Again, it's like, whoa, Dance Central 3, it looks exactly the same as Dance Central 2, and that was that was most things um, in the conference. A couple new things were the South Park RPG, which looks really good. Um, not like a live gameplay demo, but it looked like there was some gameplay in there, and that looked super good visually. Who knows how it plays? Those guys had fun with it um, up on stage, just giving their little talk. That was kind of cool. Um, and then there were three smaller titles. There was a game from Twisted Pixel, this, this like motorcycle thing, Loco Rider, I believe it was called. And I, I don't know, it was like as if this motorcycle was a person, the fastest mile ever, and it was like a motorcycle that did it in one minute. I don't know. Um, and then there was the uh, game from the Toy Soldiers people, Ascend Gods, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, pardon me, I'm doing this like live on the fly here. Um, that looked really cool. Asynchronous multiplayer. I like the Toy Soldiers games. I think those guys could do a good job. And it looked pretty cool climbing on monsters and these big god demon things running around the battlefield. Um, the other one was from Gore Verbinski the uh, director of Pirates Caribbean, and it was called Matter. It was a ball rolling through these different environments. No idea what that is. It was like a trailer. Like, you have no no, no clue. The game could be about, you know, gigantic mermaids attacking the city. It could be about, you know, a, a puzzler involving lamps and water. It could be, you know, Marcus Phoenix versus Master Chief. I have no idea what that game is. It looked like Portal almost, like, which was a very strange thing. Um, but it wasn't Portal. It was just Matter. It was the name of the game. And uh, it... It, Wolverine's hiding out here in case you wanted to know. Um, but, again, it just really felt like so much the same. And then we conclude, they, they showed a couple of their Xbox things, Xbox Music. Um, you know, they, they like to bring in their little Nickelodeon and NBA and all these different third-party things that they're they're adding into the console that I don't personally use. Maybe it's a big draw for some people, but to me, it, it's nothing um, of, of importance, really, to me. Uh, they end the conference with Black Ops 2, which... I did not really enjoy Modern Warfare 3 single player. I like Black Ops single player. So, seeing this, I was like, excited. It looks like more Call of Duty, but they have done some cool things. You're calling in drones. The way the whole futuristic thing plays out, the way they have it looking, is very sweet. Um, also, you'll notice that in that trailer, there was a moment where you could either go snipe or repel. So, it looks like they are going to try to incorporate, you know, their version of Burn Train Pair the ways. It's not going to be like, you know, dialogue and Mason's like, no, I hate the United States. Um, but... Or, you know, I'm, I'm a paragon now. No, but it, it looks like you might have some limited choice in terms of what action you want to take within the mission. Could be kind of cool. Um, guys spent a lot of time with this, like, sniper that was could charge up and shoot through walls. Uh, then you, all of a sudden, like, buildings crash and you jump into an airplane. And you're flying around and it looked like you were just controlling um, the guns. But very, very cool. I thought it was kind of ballsy to be blowing up Los Angeles during the E3 press conference in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, maybe that's what they're going for. Who knows? For all for all we know, they could have based the entire location of the game based on E3 and making a big, big uh, media blip because Call of Duty is, is this huge media, you know, gargantuan monster. Um, I've saved my favorite game, or my favorite trailer, I guess. Tomb Raider wins the game in the, the press conference for me, but Resident Evil 6 looked incredible. They showed that midway through. Um, again, it's more of, but, oh my god, it, it was just so cool. It was in China, and there was like crazy amounts of zombies and you're running through and it looked very action paced it looked like they kind of sped up the gameplay some people might not like that some people might like that i personally like it i think it looked really cool transitioning from um running to shooting to all of a sudden you're in a helicopter some people will argue that the quick time events were probably too um frequent in that that scene granted it's one scene but i like those i like when you're like flying a helicopter and you have to match up the button with the little zone and, and shoot the zombie off the plane to me that's kind of cool and fun um and gives it a nice I like Resident Evil. I, I like Resident Evil 5 a lot. This one looks a lot more expansive. It almost looked like Michael Bay directed the entire thing. Um, like, they're just going to pack it all in. There's, like, blowing up cars and this nuclear typh typhoon of, of bombs. I don't know. It was just... All of a sudden, the highways just started exploding. It was crazy. Um, and there's zombies. And then you were in tight corridors um, with tons coming at you. And grenade. It, it looked like it's taking the best bits of Resident Evil with the best, best bits of more um, modern action games and kind of mixing them together. The fact that it's co-op, the fact that you get these different characters, the different locations, it's the game I'm looking, besides Grand Theft Auto V, probably the, the second most excited game I am to go actually play on the show floor um, this week, which I will be there, and I will be making uh, videos from there, both live and at night. I will be recording gameplay, I will be you know, doing my thing there, so stay tuned for that. 
for sure. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much the press conference. Again, really more of the same, and also kind of a trend I felt like. This could be just me personally, but I feel like a trend towards Dead Space. I, not in the sense of gameplay, but just in... I feel like Dead Space made a really big mark on the industry in the sense of the the feeling and the atmosphere and the style. Resident Evil 6 looked to go a little bit Dead Space. Um, as weird as it is to say, even Splinter Cell, in, in some ways... Halo 4, like the Cortana thing, like... Oh, that reminded me so much of when uh, Isaac's talking to his girlfriend and she's like blipping out and it's like everything just seems to be kind of going to this like darker mix of shooting and action, a little bit of horror like gameplay. Everything kind of seems to be going there. Um, I did enjoy watching the conference, but because it was again just a, a you know, sequelitis conference, I have to give it a B minus because there really wasn't anything surprising. There wasn't anything new. Gears of War Judgment could have been exciting. They didn't show anything, so I'm just assuming it's Gears of War basically 4, but prequel in the timeline. Um, very excited for Halo 4, for Tomb Raider, for Resident Evil 6. Those are, you know, the ones I'm most excited to play. And Black Ops 2 looks super cool. I know multiplayer will be good, but the single player actually looked like it could be a worthwhile fun time instead of just your typical four-hour rental that the last couple have been. I did enjoy Black Ops, though, so I will give them credit for that and say maybe maybe they're onto something here. Um, they also showed Reketeer as one little final blip, a connect game where you're launching ball cannonballs at towers, and that looked kind of cool. I think I've covered everything. If there's anything I missed or anything that you thought looked really cool or what you thought sucked or what you thought the conference at all, just let me know in the comments below. If you like these reviews, uh, these press conference overviews, leave a like and let me know. Again, go check out all the trailers of the games I mentioned down below in the description um, and see for yourself what you thought. Make your opinions and come back and, and let me know. Right now, I have to get going, get ready for the next press conference. Thank you guys very much for watching. A fantastic day. E3 2012 is shaping. It'd be awesome, and I cannot wait to bring you actual live stuff from the show floor. Until next time, though, guys and girls, have a fantastic day. Microsoft gets a B minus from me. Until next time, guys and girls, drink some hot chocolate. Have a fantastic day once again, and we will see you all. All right.